It says we're live, but are we live? I just popped up. Yay! It's weird that it pops up for all the viewers, but the person actually broadcasting, it like takes a while <laughs> to pop up. No! You just have to trust that you are live. I need to get some dumb, like, violin warm up sounds Ow. and um, put it in this curtain scene. Hmm. Pop this out so I can put it on the monitor that's above. Okay. <clears throat> and the curtains open. That took an entire month to create and animate. <laughs> <laughs> um, which is why it's super old and janky, but I'm never getting rid of it. Um, hello, and welcome to another installment of some sort of talk show. I'm on the right. It's weird, because I've been using stage, so stage right and stage left for a lot of people. <laughs> and so I always get my, now I get my lefts and rights confused. Um... And joining with me today is... Oh, nope, you're on this side today. <laughs> um, even! <clears throat> oh. So we've got a couple stage changes. Uh, my camera angle is a little higher now, because I give myself a little more room. Um, for reasons that are apparent on a normal show. Today, uh, so, let me see. Um... And we've got Pixelation Pete over there, because, you know, we, we both don't know, or we don't like to do lighting situations. Um, Which, like, secretly really sucks that I'm uh, the digital photography teacher at my school. <laughs> I just, I you're allowed to be lazy in your real life. I put in work when I'm, like, streaming to <laughs> classes. But... Things are true. Um, last week, we did the Dark Mantle. <laughs> I was like, Ogre? No, we're not <laughs> even at the O's yet. <laughs> um, I wish. <laughs> you know, but before we get to what we're doing today, um, for those who forgot, um, I'm actually very impressed that we even got as far you know we're getting into the d's like i thought we were gonna peter out or like my internet was gonna die somewhere in like the b's <laughs> um but that brings us to today's topic which is labeled next stop because i was lazy yay <laughs> tin man mc Tinnerson. I I only got four hours of sleep because data is stupid. <laughs> um, this is what's called a death night. Um, I I don't know. I think that's too much of a like crazy or. I don't I don't want to go. I, I don't have I don't really have a rant for this. I just don't like how bland the name is, but how like epic the stats are that game gives this character um and like uh, AD and D, they actually named it a lich that there are uh martial liches and then there are magical liches and so like it had used to have a bigger thing but then everyone just went like no liches are liches <laughs> don't you mix those two things and they're like okay okay, okay. death knight whatever whatever so yeah um where uh, to that note, though, um, liches, you know, I mean, I could understand the 
outcry for a differentiation because usually people imagine liches as like they're the they're the wizards that wanted to live too long or they're the, the they're the fallen magic casters the death knight is usually more paladin oriented whenever i look at the image though that um wizards of the coast likes to throw up there i see cleric <laughs> um <laughs> but it's really hard to not see cleric because usually when i close my eyes and i go okay cleric i get the monty python like i don't know if that's even traditional like european medieval wear but just like bucket helmet tunic with like chain mail or heavier mail on somewhere and then mm. usually a mace or a sword in a hand um which is with the exception of the plate mail which is almost exactly what we're looking at right here and for some reason he has a torch like it's the other thing i never really understood about this character and we discussed it last week but this character this depiction of the death knight has kind of persisted through wizards of the coast's grasp on D D for like since we started in like 3.5 um the head the the helmet may be it may have been a little more buckety or a little less you know but that's basically what we've been looking at for the past like 15 years or something what the fuck <laughs> it's weird. i look back at it and in the the third edition mon or the 3.5 edition monster manual and the fourth edition monster manual they look entirely different but i remember seeing this depiction several times and it's because it goes back to like somewhere in first and second edition to a very specific individual in the Dragonlance campaign uh like the the world world that i guess is like uh gary gygax's world to a person called like lord sloth it was a <laughs> shitty ass name <laughs> i forget his actual name but i like i don't know i do like this throwbacks and i like the different armor uh, and armor styles that they're using even though like i think you're right when you kind of say that this has a very um like early 15th century like crusader kind of guy uh, like get up but but i think it, i don't know very rarely do they seem to get outside of like i don't know the close fitting uh like italian style like great armor this one is like a little bit different a little bit of like pieced together of like um little bits and things and i kind of use that for inspiration in mind too of like trying to think like okay if the Death Knight isn't just the outfit, and if it isn't just like the the stereotypical in people's mind paladin thing, like what else could I do it as? I don't know. Yeah. What did you um, end up reading up? Yeah, I just kind of wish that it would like, um, like they would give it. I don't know, like, cause like a better name. Yeah, cause. I don't know. Death Knight just sounds so like I don't know. What do we call it? I don't know. We could call it. We can call it like Sloth the Fallen. No, no, no. It has to be more. It has to be more generic than that because we want this to apply to more than just like the one character that we you know that we grew up with. So what you know what do we call it? Um, but just just the simple fact that it has it has this one little text line on it that's immortal until redeemed a death knight can arise anew even after it has been destroyed only when it tones for a life of wickedness or finds redemption can it finally escape its undead purgatory and finally perish it, it's it's so that's so, to me is so much crazier than like anything that the um devils which are which are the ones that get sent back to their demons both both of them and, both of them. and the um and the yugoloths like because mm -hmm. they them you you only really have to kill twice you know you just and they have no they have no say over it you kill them in the material plane send them back to where they are and then you somehow chase them to their plane of existence hunt them down kill them again done the Death Knight, though, has, like, child syndrome, where it's like, you kill him, and he goes, no, 
it's not time for bed <laughs> you know like he like it, like the reality is um they can't really be destroyed unless they are finally done and they want to be destroyed <laughs> you know because i feel like redemption is a, a, atonement and redemption is only a thing that the person can do unto themselves so that would really kind of suck if you really did have that like that like dark side crusader sort of person who just went through trying to purge the world of this one ideology and that's what he really or they i guess i guess they were i don't know were there female crusaders <laughs> um but just going through and the that's what that's what they really like doing and then they died have has this unfulfillment of like no but this this ideology still exists out there and i much purge it and then he just keeps going through it just per you know then there's no there's no redemption there so this person this this entity is essentially just like jason Voorhees. <laughs> just yeah. goes through. there is no, there is no end to this person he will always return um and so that me that to me is so much more epic than just like so what is that oh it's a death knight Right. <laughs> yeah i think it it needs some work i think like lord sloth had a way cool like story thing like i don't know he was a a lord that was like really awesome and was chosen to like to be like a chosen one to like save the world from like some cataclysm <laughs> and he fucked up <laughs> and so then he was like cursed to be this death knight or just cursed uh in general and then a different god of evil and death summoned him and his like spirit up to be a death knight as a big little like fuck you to other gods of like hey remember <laughs> that guy that was supposed to save you guys well i know he's a fuck up and you've cursed him and so i'm just gonna scoop him up and i'm gonna put him out and i'm gonna start using him and so it was like a it was a weird sort of thing and I think I think there was a couple other stories, and I'll like I'll talk about like mine and what my inspiration was. But yeah, I think I don't know. It has a generic name, which it has some awesome powers sometimes, and then in other editions it kind of like whack, uh, like wanes a little bit, and uh, uh, and then waxes forward a, a back and forth. But then it has like some different story functions that I think are pretty cool, and I like took mine in a different route as well. And they do death knights as like good things sometimes, which I think is weird. <laughs> I don't know, given their powers. Well, I mean, I think because it's just um, they're just a conjured thing, right? Because like, well, it's like as you said, like they're they're basically just sort of dead, but because they're sort of at the at the stage of unrest, like they're not they're they're not. Um, they're not removed from the equation. They're just sort of an ingredient on a shelf. And so any like powerful entity can just kind of take that thing off the shelf and just be like, all right, I'm putting this into my salad of doom. <laughs> yeah. Which really I'm different powers. I want to say, I, I don't have them memorized or anything, but like in Lord of the Rings, for example, the ring wraiths would be kind of perfect examples for what death knights are. There are souls that are bound to some powerful thing that can't get rest. And any time that he, they want them to do stuff, they just pluck them, stick them in a body, and say, now go and do what I want. And I think I think that could be an interesting storyline of like these like bound people that have to do stuff that in their core of cores want redemption so that they can like restore themselves but really can't go against their master thing like i like I th i've seen that story i've heard it that could be an interesting thing and i think that would be an interesting like a thing for a character to go uh, undergo and put into their backstory of like hey i want to become a paladin and i want to redeem the soul of my grandfather it is a family curse he has been cursed and he is like now committing acts of evil in the name of this dark god because he fucked up and i need to atone him and our family just so that they stop screwing things around i don't know very i don't know very samurai in my opinion but i like samurai <laughs> like 
floor than other things. Where is it? All right, there it is. So, um, with that mm -hmm. though, oh no, that's today's feature here. Show a thing. Um, oh no, our cameras are just lower. Okay. So with that, we're going to get into what um, we did, and it might, and it will most definitely spur up other pinpoints about the, what we think about the Death Knight. So first up is, uh, even, um, I see we're back to the, what is that, 4-3 aspect ratio? <laughs> yeah, I found, uh, like, I finally decided to download my uh like prem uh, premiere pro and edit it but like <laughs> it was weird trying to find like the speed button because procreate also export like i figured out why it exports so quickly uh is and you'll you'll see kind of the lines being made it doesn't record the movement of your stroke it just records the stroke as an individual entity so it's, those are just like popping into plates so there's no record of actual time it's just how many strokes did you use to make this out of so i have to like slow that down because the video actually only exported as like two minutes oh i was wondering why it was 10 because usually your videos were like in the seven to six minute range and i was just like wow 10 jesus i wonder how like i'm gonna feel real bad if he made this like super epic because <laughs> mine came out a little more cartoonish than i wanted it to Nope, just changed the time a little bit. All right, so we got some uh, we got some uh, mouth of Sauron thing going. Like I know it's supposed to be like the samurai like mem like men sort of thing, but it right now I'm getting like mouth of Sauron <laughs> kind of vibes. Yeah. Oh man, that was such a cool nasty character. I loved it. But what inspired me was like I was looking at the different armor and I was thinking I'm like okay I'm not really super interested in drawing. Um, the the full plate mail kind of design um and i have a lot of experience like i've looked up and i know a lot of the parts of like japanese armor uh so i wanted to draw that and take it in a different route but also when i was like looking up the stats in different editions they added something in fourth edition and i remembered that I was like oh man this was something that i really wanted to happen but like um they gave like a couple of examples of templates that you could add to a monster. So it was like a bonus class that you could add to a monster to like change them a little bit and give them some more power. And what they decided to do with Death Knights to make them kind of different, but also to harken back to this like idea of like them being pal or uh, lich-esque is that part of the becoming a Death Knight aspect is their soul is distilled into a weapon. And so they're actually like forced to sully themselves by with like all the murder and stuff that they commit with their own soul uh, instead of hiding it away like a traditional lichoid. Since they're like made more out of like curses or things. So I had this idea of like I wanted I wanted like the sword near the face kind of like and you get to see this like dark energy blade thing. And like secretly, you... never got into it, but I wanted to make a Death Knight just because of that soul, that that single thing of like, oh, a soul blade, so cool. It's too bad um, the medium that you use. It's really kind of difficult to do like reflectory sort of effects, but um, just a thing like a thing that I would have. Oh God, that would have been a nightmare to try to do in Blender. But like, um, <laughs> instead of instead of like, cause. You know, physics dictates that if you if you're looking at the dude and he's holding his blade like that at you, you should be reflected in that blade. But that would be crazy if you looked at the blade and you actually saw like just the little window of like what that dude actually looked like when he was alive. Mm -hmm. Which would be silly on a small one. Like I had to play. I went back and forth in my mind for a while thinking of like if I wanted to go the anime cloud sword style so I could have a bigger blade so you could see stuff but you know me like internet you don't know me yet but I <laughs> I hate I hate big weapons I hate big armor like uh, like it is hard because it's just I don't know you you can't use those well and I hate it and that's this that's as far as my fantasy goal 
goes, soul in a blade made of black smoke thing? Yes. Blade that's a big old thing? No. I don't know why that works for me. I have uh, fun. I had I had some I had some um like a mental sort of exercise by just kind of self analyze not self analyzing but just uh, quietly analyzing in my head like why that artistic trope exists with like huge fuck off weapons but um <laughs> it's not relevant to what we're doing right here so I'll leave it um we'll at the the, end. <laughs> the um. Okay, so I'm going to describe it as a way, and I really hope it doesn't ruin the image for everyone, but I have a question as to what something is. So how I'm going to describe it is the crusty clown, like, side hair things. Are, is, that the, um, is that the neck guard from the, the helmet? Well, oftentimes there's, like, the, the, the side guard, like, the, the neck guard, yes. but then... Um, in uh they made things that came out forward like this uh also that were um they often had time had like little like symbols on them yeah <laughs> and they kind of protected the face but not really they're, they're, yeah. like you'll see on more of the practical armors those are made really small and then it's just like the neck guard uh but i like i wanted to make them larger okay it's, just, it's weird because it's like it's not low enough to be like the or it like in my eyes it's not like low enough to like be the um like the little yeah, like yeah, secondary yeah. neck guard but it's a little too low uh, to be the <laughs> yeah so it's just kind of like right there at like the cheek temple area <laughs> it's just like it's very crusty <laughs> clown hey hey, hey kids <laughs> 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 which also That's to that note, like, yeah. Which also to that note, yeah. Which also to that note, the now that I said that, the face is very like if you just like scraped all the stuff off of Krusty the Clown's face, like that's really what it would be, and that makes this so much more like. And if you think of it being in a Matt Groening like um <laughs> like era, like that's actually a really epic like trading card or something, just to be like, I have, mm. I have. I, I I have Kurasti. <laughs> <laughs> what is this guy's name? I love it. Because <laughs> um, yeah. it, it's it's cool though, because I could still see. I mean, it's the it's the skull effect, but I could still see like the the smile <laughs> in the thing. So he, he's still laughing at you, <laughs> um, mm -hmm. which I like. I don't know if you can like I, I'd imagine that this has the that ring wraith effect that the you can hear the sorrow and the sadness and fear in the blade as he's like wielding it, but then you're just stuck with the glowing like happy face of like this uh, of the skull. It's like oh man, it likes what it's doing, but not all of it. Yeah. On its head, the little crest that I put. Uh, I decided I could do some a little bit more Eberron nerding, uh, even though like Samurai is not really put in there. Although they do sometimes make the art of like the hobgoblins kind of in a Samurai kind of outfit, but I don't know. Uh, but that is the symbol of the Dark Six. Um, <laughs> uh, and they have this like pantheon that like sometimes it's seen as like the good and bad side of things, but sometimes it's seen of like the two sides of the coins. And so uh, the symbol of the Dark Six is that side of the Pantheon that represents things like dirty fighting and like dark magic and secrets and like uh, destruction or nature's wrath and stuff like that. Which was like, I don't know. I thought it was kind of fun <laughs> kind of putting it on. And to do like a little thing, you'll see after I put these like little reflection-ish kind of things, it was pretty small in there. I didn't want to do too much. <laughs> but um i will paint the last mark of the the symbol of the, the the dark six across like the the skull cap that he has and then on like the sh uh the shield pauldron the sold uh i put um <laughs> i put like a a death dog because <laughs> we're skipping it
I considered it, but then mm-hmm. after all of the after all of the fails that I had, I was just like, I'm I'm not getting anywhere near that. Um, an idea that I had, uh, like whenever <laughs> whenever we do these things, and we're and we're on your part because for some reason if it's my stuff I can never do the same thing. But I always start thinking of like like oh man what kind of a story can I write on this and so I went into a very like um slayers ask kind of universe where because for so whatever reason in that universe quote unquote villains tend to kind of come back a lot more often than like in other <laughs> anime um, oh, yeah. but um so for this one it's like the, the first time like this person like he could have been introduced in like season one or something and he was an actual person then season two he gets brought back and everyone's just like oh man that like really sucks but this he's like really epic he's like the second to last dude who like like gets killed you know or he's a the second to last boss or something that like gets you know destroyed and the boss dies but then he comes back in season three and he's a little more you know he's a little more raggedy because they still can't figure out how to like purify him but now (laughs) um like i'd imagine his um his crest would have started off like gold and then he dies gets resurrected and then it's like kind of like a gold but it's like you know it's like tarnished and kind of bent and gross in certain areas and then um they defeat him the first time as like the undead evil person and then he comes back and um now some of his gold is missing and so he replaces parts of it with like his own bones and so now instead of a gold like crest and stuff he's got like a partial like rib bone (laughs) in one place and like a gold just i like that i made like one of his hands bony while the other one is still more or less fleshy (laughs) And so I think that'd be a cool thing of like the arm gets cut off in like one of the battles and is destroyed and it comes back and now he just has like the bone arm. Of, yeah. I don't know where he got those bones from, but I don't know. So that's that's my death night, and I'm actually I'm kind of I'm pretty happy with it. Feeling I'm it. Jealous. <laughs> and like this is making my soul happy for the death night I never got to play. <laughs> like. But like yeah. I don't know, I don't know. It's a thing that I've always been frustrated at, and I know that they put a uh, s- spell blade or um, sword mage in fourth edition, and I think you and I just both jumped on that because that's kind of what we've always wanted. And I wish we had played that more because I liked it. Um, but I think that's it. Kind of sucks because they 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 do so many so often. They do these like crossovers where like a fighter gets a little bit of magic. They get one magic weapon, or they get like mages that get you know a couple of like abilities to wear armor or stuff. But like, where's the person that appeals to like you and I that's just like, no, I'm fifty fifty magic magic fighting. This is this is that's where I'm at. But I guess they're all like, yeah, you mean the bard like or the paladin I'm like no i don't want a paladin like oh you want a fallen paladin no i don't want a fallen paladin i want someone that's cool with what they do they just hit, hit people with magic like most things like most things in in this world um there's a there is a term for that and i hate it and i just don't understand why people think that these things sound cool but they have the they have the gish <laughs> um which is basically a 50% fighter, 50% wizard. And I hate it. Or it might be a gif, but I always think that it's too close to the gif Yankee and the gif Uzai. So, um, yeah. But whatever. It's still a gross G word, and I hate it. But also, <laughs> when you split your character 50 like that, you get, like, once you get, like, tw- like 25% of the way into creating that character you there's a sadness that kind of sinks into you about like i'm never gonna get to play with these eight abilities <laughs> and those eight abilities that's you you read like, your <laughs> no but, but I always want, like, <laughs> which i'm designing right now but i always want like a flexible system that like creative spell weapon users can do stuff instead of I do big damage, that's all. Like, no, no, I I want something more nuanced. 
<laughs> I want when I cut them, them to have like be seeped in with my energy of necrotic and to make them more scared. That's all. And then they're just worried more while fighting me. Yeah, That's enough. But be yeah, before we move on, the um the the spell blade was it was fun, but unfortunately it was introduced in fourth edition, which kind of railroaded you into it can either go in this direction or this direction, and then once you hit like um, that mythical level, like fifteen or twenty or something, then they were like, "Hey, here's these like five paragon paths that you can take," but in reality, you're really only going to choose from two of them because the <laughs> other three are like dumb. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was just um, it was too conf. conf it was too constraining um but the spellblade was a fun class to play mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i had something yeah. else that i wanted to say and i forgot what it was so we're just gonna move on so um <laughs> i'm i always get super disappointed on these kind of instances where i have you go first and it's like this really cool like damn that could be in that could be like the promo or the cover or like the um, first, like the first chapter or something of like a comic book or something. Cause I definitely have a couple, like, especially from um, the uh, Usagi series that like mm. nobody really, really knows. I guess it's been it's a funny. little more popularized because of the um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles nowadays, but. Um, mm -hmm. that, that, that image, even as it is, could, could exist in that book. <laughs> it is funny, because when I was drawing this, or when I was thinking of like, okay, am I going to draw a full body? Can I draw it with like a dog next to it so I can have the death dog? I'm like, no, that's too far. I'm like, no, we need a close up. We need a close up, like an Usagi Ujimbo, like cover. <laughs> like obviously you and i grew up together <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's that's just the vibe man um all right so prepare to be disappointed <laughs> where <laughs> is another thing all right so shabam we head over into the blenders oh i'm gonna hide your thing which is gonna be disappointing <laughs> uh, okay so we get rid of the cube and i just I wanted to start with the most common thing of all. Um, oh, you, Dennis Helms. Yeah, except mine turned out very um, shovel nighty. Um, <laughs> so here, so here are the things that I wanted to do. I wanted um, my my goals for this for when I sat down were I wanted. Um, I wanted a crazy sort of like crown of like not so much thorns but just something that could like like what the um what was of the coast wants the crown of madness spell to really kind of look like just this like this is crazy sort mm -hmm. of like ethereal crown that was kind of around because i noticed that the death knight depiction had that like it um the weird little like chess piece looking helmet um wasn't necessarily that it was kind of like they tried to put this crown but on a paladin helmet which just kind of made it look like a chimney <laughs> so i wanted to i wanted that crown but i wanted to lift it off of the helmet so it was more of this sort of like depiction of that dude isn't just an undead an, an undead guy oh so, um, so is it you're, like floating Mm-hmm. Ah. But the problem here is that I'm trying to so um what where what I'm trying to achieve here is the position that um a a position where I can then use a um a spiral modifier and then just take those points and just rip them up so that they all sort of like intersect and um like a like vines or like thorns or something you know just sort of like inter interweave and intersect but oh, okay. i have the hardest time trying to get um 
the elements that I want to eventually grow into these like intersecting weaved like thorns in a circular format. Because what's supposed to happen is I'm supposed to put this circle down. I'm supposed to apply um, a an array modifier, which puts it, you know, which does basically what we're seeing now, which is um, just kind of mul uh, it just kind of multiplies that that object mm -hmm. um, a certain however many times I, I decide. But um, if I unselect its um, one section and I then apply the object um, relative to an object. What everyone in what everyone else <laughs> does it, um, it circles around the thing that I've um, targeted as like the the governing point, the governing object. But when I do it, it does this. It either it either expands it out like like a solar system or it like steps it down like a like a weird sort of platform step and none of none of what like this like that platform step um yeah but nothing that i would research or google would tell me what i'm doing that results in this you know whenever i would search for something they would just show me what I wanted what I was expecting what I was doing to result in. So um, this square is simply just me raging and just duplicating what I'm seeing at least three other people do on their um, little tutorial things. Because mm -hmm. what I'm doing is obviously not working. So let's just step by step just copy what someone else is doing. And I still get the same flawed result <laughs> that i'm that i get so um by this time it's almost like about 40 minutes in and i'm just like you know what screw it we're we're not we're not doing the crown <laughs> or at least we're not doing that version of the crown even though i really wanted that to work because if i could it could just be this little like nest of thorns that i can then make into this like see-through gold or you know some sort of um some sort of translucent sort of material and just make it more like give it an emission so that it glows and oh i had so many plans and just my stress and frustration built up so much i was just like S forget it <laughs> just never mind so um i just went on to phase three which is um let's add in the interior stuff so let's add in some smoke let's add in some eyes let's just let's just keep let's just keep going you know um and then we so we move into um the the next phase or not the next phase but um item number two that is also within my nightmare sphere which is simulation uh mostly because it just it takes forever that that little blue thing on the timeline is moving really fast, but each time I would hit that um, render button, it would just go through. And um, at this point, for the settings that I have, it's not a lot of data. So it would take like three to five minutes tops. Mm -hmm. Later, though, when there's more data, when there's more um, texture and color and shit that it has to kind of calculate, um, it starts to take a little longer. So I would eventually like s put all my settings in place, hit, hit the, hit the show me button. And it would take like 13, you know, 13 or so minutes. It doesn't sound very long, but when you decide that it doesn't look that great so you have to go back and tweak something now that 13 minutes starts to multiply two to three to four times and that's kind of what i hate the most about simulation is that it's just it's time um mm. and that's not really the program's fault that's mostly my computer's fault my my wallet's fault for, <laughs> for not having a graphics <laughs> card that can like process all that really fast but um you know, you you do what you you do what you can. You either are rich and you can save time by just having powerful stuff, or you you know you just suck it up and 
trudge through <laughs> trudge through what you have which I, it's funny you like commented on it before of like it made it look like a chimney <laughs> and then like now it, you're really making it look like a chimney <laughs> Well, but I, I love this like it'd be funny it's like, kind of like a kappa or like or the, like the skull is open and like you can reach in and touch its evil and if you can dump out its evil you can atone the death knight so what i what i was kind of going for here is i'm I'm adding in a force field so that it would sort of move and push the um the smoke the simulation like backwards so that he gets kind of this like smoky top knot kind of a thing going on the only problem with that, though, is that what the thing that I wanted was um, for the smoke to kind of billow out from the um, the face plate. And mm -hmm. I just wasn't, and it was one of the things where it was I could either have one or I can have the other. Both of them weren't going to exist in the same like like reality sphere with the settings that I had. I probably could have spent like another hour or two fiddling with the force field to like get the the right amount of pressure so that I still had some billowing out the the face, but I still but all the um smoke above would be blown backward into more of a hair sort of format. Um <laughs> I guess i got to a point where i was happy with what the smoke looked like and so i did eventually add like a dumb crown which later on just kind of looks weird but i stuck with it because i was like this is the image that was in my head and bye and dadgummit i'm gonna keep it <laughs> um i like the idea of a floating crown that's really i don't know it's uh, a thing that's pretty in vogue nowadays like the I don't know, floating crown <laughs> over a character. Oftentimes they do it as like a, um, you know, like a sketchy kind of like drawn thing or like a, a neon sign. But I just really I like liked, the idea. when I was when I was younger. I just really liked the um, the what's it called the like unleashed version, I guess, of Hellboy. Mm -hmm. Where he would have, you know, his his full his full his full horn growth, but also he had this just crown of fire that would just float between those horns, and it was just it was a really cool concept. I I, I didn't think it was all that necessary for that character, but I like the concept, so I wanted to steal it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Though I should mention that um, the original idea was to have the helmet itself be um, this more solid sort of thing. And it went really fast because I only gave it like five tries. And this is a lot faster of an experiment. But um, changing the helmet or changing a, any material to be a um, non-interactive material or to be an interactive material and regardless of what i did it wasn't working right so <laughs> um i just decided to find let's just let the smoke billow through and then i can change the color and make it more of a more uh i can make it less of a smoke and more of an aura type of a thing so instead of being mm -hmm. this actual it's more of an metaphorical <clears throat> don't I can't, it's kind of it's interesting you citing the like crown of madness um spell and i think it like sometimes like a i think it's unfortunate that s uh spells have very like um uh, i guess limited um parameters in which they exist uh, like i think it'd be like that that'd be kind of cool of like the spell of madness spells that most people do are kind of like a, a far cry quick and dirty kind of technique of what real crowns of madness are and those are like curses put on individuals <laughs> or something like and i think that's pretty neat of when you actually get to see like oh that spell or he is functioning under a permanent version of like crown of madness 
<laughs> yeah. Because like you said, um, I think, you know, I, I do believe that most Death Knights do have, like, a deep down, like, want to redeem themselves. Because otherwise, like I, like I was referencing earlier, that would sound super OP to just have this individual that just literally cannot die because they don't care <laughs> um but if they had but if a lich put a crown of madness on i don't even know if they're immune to that but if they put a crown of madness on a death knight and just made that permanent so that they didn't want to redeem themselves and they just had a permanent thrall <laughs> mm -hmm. um i want to point out real quick that in this view in this um editorial view i think that the smoke looks a lot better and i'll have the final render at the very end just to kind of also give me a visual cue of when the video is done but um it it looks so it looks so much stupider in the final render and that's kind of a thing that's <laughs> that always kind of happens um because i just don't spend a lot of time in the final stage i'm just so eager to move on to something else or something you know um i'm i think i'm redoing the smoke yeah because i'm just not i'm just never happy with simulations like very rarely <laughs> very rarely do i ever start a simulation and then i'm just happy with it after the third iteration like i'll go back and I'll even like go through and do a bunch of work around the simulation and then I'll play the whole thing. I'll just be like, yeah, I mean, like the boat looks really cool and like the splashes are really interesting, but God, those waves look so friggin plasticky. I just got, I, I just gotta go back and <laughs> then my computer crashes because now there's a boat that it has to calculate in there. <laughs> What is, do you have like a an idea or story how you would like this character to exist or this ver this like this particular death knight? This particular one, I was um I mean if you're if you're aware of the Shovel Knight game category and um you kind of know what those characters sort of look like, like that's just kind of what this dude is. Like he's yeah, like there's the final render. Um I think I should have stuck with the orange sun instead of the purple sun, just to give the smoke a little more red. Mm. But I didn't want it. To I like the idea. Of purple. Oh yeah. But again, it was supposed to be sort of this evil aura, not so much like it's billowing evil smoke out of its out of its face. You know, it's turned from smoke to aura. But yeah. Um, but yeah, basically this iteration of, of my Death Knight is very video gamey and like I said, he would probably just be like this like a very standard Death Knight. Like he was trying like in the Shovel Knight universe, he was trying to go on some sort of quest or some sort of crusade and failed. And so now he just sort of exists <laughs> and mm is probably he would probably be shovel knight's um nemesis temporary nemesis just because he's like jealous that shovel knight's going through and actually succeeding in all of his quests and so he's like i hate you <laughs> <laughs> it kind of it reminds me of meta knight right now yes. and it's like coloration <laughs> And like kind of a little bit that. the slit eye uh eye thing. I could see that. Um I probably could have done with Meta Knight's um V visor, but mm. I went with the more humanistic T <laughs> just because I had more there was more detail that I could do there. Um because I think the V would have been less ironically less detail. <laughs> Yeah, you would have to put like like holes in the mask and stuff, and like try to get some scars or something around there. Yeah, what I I guess what I could have done is I could have had, I mean I would have had to find the model because I I wouldn't be able to do a good skull. But I what I could have done, which would have been interesting, is just have a skull that was just like, um, 
semi sort of concealed by the by the smoke that's billing out of there so it's just kind of like this um like that sort of um not sh uh, like that shadowed figure at the end of the hall like all those like um scps mm -hmm. or the um the weird like if you look at this image long enough then you'll see it <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that is um, my stressed out, frustrating version of a of a death night. I don't know what I could have done to do better because most of what my project sort of relied on was um, data processing. Because <laughs> um, it's mostly the simulation. Otherwise, he's just a he's. He's just a bucket head knight <laughs> with an enchanted, you know, with something enchanted on him that's giving him the crown. I think it's funny that we both took a uh, very similar route uh, of just like, I'm going to do the head, a little bit of pauldrons, and <laughs> I'm going to have some kind of smoky effect of evil. Yes. There we go. Yeah, I was considering what I wanted to do was have the. Um, the death knight sort of like in sort of like a this sort of manner with like a chain that was leading to like two like death dogs <laughs> at the bottom so he's just kind of like the uh, he's like the hound master sort of thing but um mm -hmm. just just the fact that i f i failed for so long trying to just do a crown like a crown that i wanted to have from my imagination i was just over it at that point i was like you know what <laughs> screw it i i can't anymore let's just make a face plate stick some eyes in there um i think what made it so there's there there are th like three things that i think i could have done to make it less cartoony and less like 64 bit video game bring it more into like more detail to it is i could have added some like <laughs> um rivets to the side um i don't know how to do battle damage with this low of a light situation um and that was kind of one of the like i sat there with the sun trying to a figure out what color i wanted because that would be the main effector of the smoke the smoke has a has a color has a color uh option to it but it i didn't see any change so i was just like uh it's easier if i mess with the sun mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. to get this sort of like aura evil thing and not have the environment too illuminated the sun had to be really like weak but because the lighting's so weak there's not a lot of detail that can kind of pop out and so it's hard to do like battle damage or like you know scratches and stuff because it doesn't really come out that easily unless i wanted the helmet to be luminous <laughs> you could make the i guess the crown more luminous and then like i would just put detail on the the, the pauldron that's lit up and then maybe like a scratch or scar like going across like the the yellow part um, the edge of like the visor, or I guess like the opening, eye opening. But yeah, I don't know. If, like it, it is difficult because like I I had like that similar problem of like uh, the the face uh, or like the kind of like a, I don't know face wing parts um, that are just more or less fancy. Uh, it showed off so much more than like the actual protective neck thing, and then then there was like nothing happening in the chest, just because it was like I don't there's there's too much going on. I can't, I don't want to. It's not important. I don't need to go there and make a bunch of detail, uh, because I want your eye to stay on the sword, the face, and the like headpiece. But yeah, that stance doesn't give a lot of leeway for like collarbone or chest detail anyway. So yeah. <laughs> I think it's one of those things that just like to take what you get uh, or what you set up for yourself. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. I like it. I, I wish kind of. Maybe. I don't know. I, I don't. 
I looked up what Shovel Knight is. I think maybe I watched somebody play it once. I didn't really get into it, or I didn't end up playing it. But like, I think you you could have like maybe tried to lean more heavily into the cartoony aspect. But that those that's a tricky whole can of worms of like rounding things out, making certain proportions slightly bigger and other ones smaller. Yeah, that's what I should do for one of these projects. Is I should just make a small pixelate like a like a small pixel art thing and just have a small little like flappy bird esque game. <laughs> Death, <laughs> Death Knight collect the souls. <laughs> <laughs> that could definitely work. Oh uh, man. It's one of the stupidest things that just like it made me so happy, I guess. But like thinking about like I don't know why I was so drawn to the soul sword idea. But before that, in Final Fantasy Eleven, I want to say that I didn't play, but like my friend was trying to get me to play it. Um, our friend uh, Mark and I was like looking through the classes and kind of thinking like, is there anything that appeals to me? And then when like the intro to become a dark knight was take this sword kill a hundred things with it it was just like yes <laughs> like it was so dumb because that is every like collection game mission in any any like of those kind of uh, rpg games but it was just like no this works for it for once of like really it's the most spartan of like fighter type of things of like no to really become a dealer of death Go deal some goddamn death. Do it with this weapon. Like, you will, you will, like, uh, what is that? You will baptize this weapon in blood and it will become a death knight as you become the death knight. Like, and like that, like, stuck with me. So there was so much of this that made me really happy. Um, even though I never played that game either. Death knight. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, it's it's a weird one. It the Death Knight kind of falls into the category for me creation-wise where I have to take a really large side. I'm just like I'm going to need a lot of coffee cuz a it's <laughs> it's this what I'm going to call what I'm going to generically call a relatively bland humanoid sort of shape and b it has armor <laughs> and both of these things i i struggle so hard with because like the humanoid figure is generally sort of like it it's it's just sort of like uninteresting to me but then you add in hard body things so like machinery or armor and suddenly i get i don't know what to do like <laughs> because <laughs> Cause like smooth and curved things like that's easier to kind of flub your way through but when you have like hard rigid especially when it's armor or machinery like those hard ridges have like purpose you know there's some sort of efficiency to that shape and i'm really bad at sort of pre-planning out those shapes because i want to make one thing and i want to move to another thing and it's a lot harder when you make one thing and then you move on to the other thing and you suddenly have to think of oh Wait, that thing has to fit with that uh, that previous thing that I did. So, <laughs> you know, otherwise they're gonna yeah. kind of like. If you're thinking up. that way, I think it, I don't know. There's a lot of armor designs that I see where I'm like, none of that works. What is that holding <laughs> up? That <laughs> thing, like, it just makes me mad all over. I don't. There's a lot of things about mine too that are just like, you know, I, I put it there, but it's also because I know kind of where it goes and what uh, artistically things I, I want to make decisions on but i feel that struggle too of like uh these things need to connect <laughs> you should i don't know you should maybe like choose an armor style i guess and just stick like with it. <laughs> or there was an artist that i followed that um was like he does like a lot of D D character commission art kind of things um, but he was like just answering questions on his Instagram. And one of the things that he was like talking about was like, choose, choose a period and an area that you're interested in and just learn all about their clothes, about their armor. Like, look at that, do some sketches, look at how it's actually constructed. 
And then once you feel really comfortable in that period, then you can you can make tons of it's so much easier to make alterations because then when you're like, I'm going to make armor, you're not thinking of like, what is it's like the whole world of armor you're thinking about? Like, I mean, mine is like 12th and 13th century, like Japan, feudal Japan, <laughs> like. But yeah, I mean, you chose at least the helmet I mean, it's early. <laughs> Oh, 13th century crusader uh great helm mass production <laughs> mass production helmet yeah yeah i even like looked over and i was like all right what was because i i wanted to do something relatively simple so i was like i'm gonna just do a monty python character and just see <laughs> how much i can do but, man i gotta tell you man that that crown like sapped so much of my enthusiasm out like i had i had three i had three monty python references up even the dark knight you know even the dark knight himself or the black knight himself and just the fact that oh god i just i don't understand why that array modifier wouldn't work um but anyways it's that's, you've used it before, that, haven't over, you it's over and done yeah that's the thing that's that's the thing that's the main thing that 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 Ah, uh, stressed me out so much was that I used it before. It was a thing that I did. It was a function that happened, and I did nothing differently. And yet everything was wrong. Um. <laughs> so just that yeah. that emotion right there. Now spread that over about forty to thirty minutes, and then you can understand why I was just I was just over it. Done. No death dog. No no tunic. No weapon. Screw it. <laughs> I'm done. Um, I did that once this season. Uh, season. Over <laughs> silly. I did it with the Aleph, and I was animating, and it was like things that I kind of knew slash have done before, <laughs> and just was frustrated over like my lack of it. And then I was like, you know what? We are doing a show. <laughs> I don't need to be mad and not talented at this. Um, so I can I can scale back to like. Uh, restrictive palette of what I want to do. But <laughs> I understand you, it's different because like for me, this is like a, um, I don't know. I'm not trying to push too much. I'm just like, I'm having some fun here. Whereas you're, you are like growing and trying to like try out a new things and learn this like program. I know. Like maybe so... I should push myself harder to grow, but I think <laughs> I am. I'm trying to get more into this like a, uh, uh, or trying to always think out like pose, character, and storytelling. I just switched to procreate. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> screw, screw all y'all critic. Oh, screw you critics. I switch programs. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, that was the Death Knight. Um, I'm only gonna get more salty and more angry as we continue to talk about progress and stuff about this so um i think it was a healthy learning experience even though i you know i keep looking over at yours and i'm just like god all the stuff that mine could have been um <laughs> so i, I want to say that last week though my um uh, my original idea was to fuse the death dogs like double head thing but also like canine head to the shoulders mm. of the death knight so that it was this fusion of the two creatures and the cr would have like jumped up by about like four like four points or something but just to give him some of the stats of like the death dog and then you know or the offensive stat like just add those on top of the death knight stuff so then you have this crazy like um, this demon sort of like amalgam thing coming at you and then I would have added the not just the smoke but a fire simulation on top of those both of those heads I even have a canine like skull that I would have like dumbed down but whatever things that happened happen so next week uh, we have this wonderful creature if I can figure out where my mouse is um, so let's get rid of these things, and we'll get rid of that one, and bam! But Tyler, it's just a, it's just a skull with 
diamonds in its eyes. Uh, sure, until it starts talking at you and then shooting you full of fireballs and cursing you till you're nothing but a dried up husk on the floor. Um, this is a demi lich. Uh, it is supposed to be weaker than an actual lich, but I don't know. I've seen some things where, like, some liches are just kind of lame, and then the demi lich is like, oh my god, why is this. Why are we fighting this thing now? <laughs> um, it's funny. It's like two weeks of like lich, uh, liches that aren't liches. <laughs> Not the yeah, I always thought that the demi lich was just a an actual lich, but it just only had its head remaining. <laughs> like Which I have heard some things, and I like those things. So things we will talk about but I, i'm kind of curious what the hell are we gonna do because really i mean you can finally learn how to sculpt a skull uh, <laughs> you Damn play, it. just port in a skull and then do stuff so there's like a whole lot of stuff you know what i mean like i have a lot less to complain about with this one <laughs> But in the same way, like, I don't know, I have definitely a whole scene to, like, think about, because I don't think I want it. Like, I've done life drawing classes. I don't need it anymore. Like, I don't <laughs> want to. I'm not going to focus on making a skull. <laughs> like, uh, so I got to I gotta come up with some story about demi liches and things so that I have an idea of what I want to draw. Listen here, Timmy, I had about 13 years worth of algebra. I don't need to go through that again. So you you done figure out that math stuff for yourself. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> that's just what that that that's just what that light that life drawing <laughs> semi rant reminded me of. Where we're just like, uh uh, I had to go through that. Now you you go do you. <laughs> Sometimes I like it. when my kids or my students talk about like how difficult it is. Uh, making art when they start realizing or things like so every once in a while I'm like so I was not a great academic student like I was smart I just didn't do the work what I did is I drew in each of my periods I took six periods of art really every day every day all school like like don't yeah this, I'm better than you I'm going to be better than you that you see that kid over there that kid that's really good they do art every day you you timothy that come to my class <laughs> and kind of work for that half an hour uh that uh, of my class even though it's 50 minutes of work time this is why i'm giving you a c count yourself grace uh lucky <laughs> <laughs> these get degrees timmy these get degrees <laughs> Get your degree uh, and don't get it <laughs> and don't expect any praise. <laughs> All right. It's so All with right. that. Uh, <laughs> um so with that, uh we hope to see you next week. Um here's one thing that I guess so the the other thing that should also always be sort of reminded and never said out loud, but I will remind, is that I do have an entire week to work on my stuff, so I have a lot less of an excuse than I kind of give myself. But one of the things that I was kind of working on is so that I could do these kind of things. Shabam! Um, so check us out on Twitch.tv here um, on <laughs> Sundays at 2 p.m. Uh, if you happen to miss an episode, you could also go to our YouTube channel on level three. Um, links are in the description on twitch.tv because uh, I don't have an actual URL yet. Uh, it's still a bunch of numbers and letters. And I also happen to do some other stuff with some other people. Our notable neighbors are uh, Smart One Twitch. Uh, they tend to do a Tuesday, Thursday, Friday sort of type of schedule. And yeah, thank you for tuning in for this week. And we hope to see you on the next week when we do Zidemilich. You can find out if I decided to cheat on some, on some aspect and rage about something else. <laughs> and you can find out what even actually decided to do with his plethora of options to do with a skull. <laughs>
Too many options. Too many. Next options. time. Later's. Bye.